Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got my keto grocery haul for ya. <gasps> Look how much I spent, uh, but it's all good. Um, Target, I spent $7.70, wait to hear about that deal. Amazon's $22, gets to come off of here. It's for my sweetener, this monk fruit sweetener back here. And I don't count that as part of my regular grocery. This is part of my like, I mean, I guess it is, but I have a separate budget for my baking for keto. And then at Aldi, I spent my $37.33. I didn't need a lot of stuff this week, so I kind of bought some special things and then some other stuff. But I'll go over it all with you and my meal plan for the week. So $67.03 is what I spent. Now for $7.70 at Target. Look at that. Now, the chicken, this is the Purdue basically everything free. I got three packages of thighs and one package of breasts. All this chicken was $7.70 after coupons and then a spend 20 get five. So what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to get ready and get my grill going. I'm going to barbecue up all this chicken. I'm going to portion out my lunches. I may make some with this some grilled chicken salad for dinners and then I'll freeze whatever I don't think I'm gonna eat this week already cooked so when I need it I can just pull it out of the freezer to make salads or whatever so this week's gonna include a lot of grilled chicken and different incantations but again I can freeze some and then just use it already cooked the reason that these coupons are on here this was sell by yesterday but it's a sell-by date, not a use-by. So if I wasn't cooking it today, I would have frozen this. But I'm cooking it up here in a minute. So it's perfectly fine. When I hit these that are a $5 off is when I get super excited. Okay. Then I grab some more of my guacamole. I'm really into this. And this is very clean keto. This one is the home style. It's a medium. Um, they were out of the classic, which is mild. But that's okay. I'll be fine. I was out of coffee flavors, so I grabbed one for work, one for home. So I got a hazelnut and a French vanilla. Um, for snacking, I just grabbed a block of cheese I'll cube up. Blueberries. Oh, I love fresh fruit. $1.99. I didn't think that was a bad deal for those. Um, I grabbed, like I do every week, my box of sweetener. Um, I was out of mozzarella, so I grabbed mozzarella. I'm part of my meal plan for the week is I'm going to make some bagels and I'm going to record making the bagels. So I needed mozzarella. It calls for um, Asiago, but I got Gruyere and some Parmesan and cream cheese. And then with my grilled barbecue, I'm going to make twice baked cauliflower for breakfast this week. I'm making bagel sandwiches. So I grabbed sausage I'll make little sausage patties that are the same size as my bagels and some cheese and I may fry an egg we'll see and then because I wanted to try these this is Polish sausage I'm always looking for food on the go travel food um, things that are handy that don't need refrigeration and these are super clean ingredients and less than one carb Something like this, like I'm going on a trip in July, so I may, if I like it, I'll go back and grab a couple more, and they'll be great in the car, they'll be great on the go. Next year, we're getting ready to plan a trip to Ireland, and this is stuff I would bring to throw in my bag for on the go eating. So, I want to try them if I like it, and you know what Aldi, when they have like specialty stuff, you gotta eat, you know, buy it up. These were $2.79, which isn't bad. You get one, two, three, four, five meats. Let's look at the macros. They have 12 grams of fat and eight protein. So that's not too bad for a snack for a keto. Yeah, so we'll try that up. And I will bring you back. It's 10:30. I gotta go get my grill ready. And then I'm gonna start cooking and I will bring you along while I prep my meals and food for the week. What? I uh, know. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we're getting ready to make the bagels. It's a two-part process. Not my recipe to share, so I can't unfortunately do that. But what I can do is let you walk through the process with me. 
I've got two ounces of cream cheese soften, uh, three tablespoons of uh, bacon fat. I need two ounces of Parmesan. So what I'm doing here is I have my scale set up and I just zero it out in between. And then we're gonna say, okay, well we need two ounces of this. A little more and my grill is almost ready it warmed up fast today okay two ounces of the parmesan cheese and then five ounces of this so what i do is i hit zero again and then you can measure and this is, recipe is from cooking or keto gatherings by Dr. Christy Sullivan. That's the book I'm using to do this recipe and it says it will make 12 bagels. Okay, whatever. Five ounces of the mozzarella and then four egg whites. Well, half a cup, which is four. It came out to four for me in that container. And then here I have three tablespoons of psyllium husk. I need three quarters of a cup of whey protein isolate. I'm just grabbing a measuring cup here, guys. And what I like about my big measurer is there's a three quarter on the inside. Then I'm going to get the mixer out and beat all this together. I won't make you listen to that. Whey protein isolate is zero carbohydrate. And it the carbs have been removed with the milk process. So it, that's why you want isolate. So that's about three quarters of a cup of that. And I keep it in a container in my refrigerator. Like you do. So we've got mozzarella, parmesan, cream cheese, egg whites, bacon fat. In here we have whey protein, psyllium husk, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, which you know you need, since there's no flour in here, baking soda doesn't have really anything to react with on its own. So a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't want to skip the salt, especially if you're fully keto, you need your salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I think this is garlic salt, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to need a half a cup of hot water. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna whip all this together and back here you won't you can't really see it, but I'm cooking my cauliflower. So yeah, I'm gonna get the blender out, whip all this up, and I will show you how I load the pans with this recipe. All right, everything has been mixed up. And it's pretty thick. Part of it is the psyllium husk absorbs. Um, and that's for texture. Now what I have here is a pastry bag that I'm going to stuff full of this bagel mixture. You do not have to do this. Um, you just want it into a donut slash bagel pan, which I have over here, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do, but I would prefer to get it in here tidy and neat. So, we are just gonna load her up with all of this batter. And there's a lot of cheese and egg, which if you know anything about cooking keto, cheese and egg, that's your binder since we don't have the gluten in flour. So what's fun, or for those of you who have, you know, maybe gluten intolerant folks in your life, if you follow a ketogenic diet, you're in essence gluten free. There, you're not going to get gluten um, because gluten has carbs. So if you're eating a good, clean, carb-free diet, you're going to be gluten-free too, just like the folks. Just a little different. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, hope you can see what I'm doing here. All right, I am just piping my bagel mixture into this pan. And I'm gonna make sure everybody has some and then I'll come back and top everybody else off. So I wanna make sure I get my 12, that's a serving. Now these are gonna be smaller bagels for sure. Smaller bagels because this is a donut pan, not a bagel pan, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna make breakfast sandwiches which I'll bring you back for, I won't, you know, I'm gonna make my sausages here shortly. Um, you'll let my arm rest a little bit, it's sore. Okay, so I have plenty left. So we'll just go back and do just a little bit in a couple that look less. And then I'm gonna bang the pan down. Again, I won't make you listen to me banging. That's the other thing when you're cooking keto, especially baking, things don't tend to spread like they do when you're baking with flour. You really, you know, like I'm gonna go back with my finger here and mush everything down and get it nice and flat. If I don't, my bagel will be bumpy. Does that make sense? I think so. All right, I'm gonna finish evening these off. They're gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna pull them out right before they're done, but still moist, and sprinkle my everything but the bagel seasoning on the top. I'm gonna grill my chicken, which is already out there and it's on. And then when this is ready, I will show you how I make a bagel sandwich for breakfast. I don't know if I'll do all of them. I mean, I might. I'm not working at my other job this week, so I have time in the evening to pack my lunch. Um, but yeah, bagels, guys, on keto, what? And clean, that's the key for me, is it's clean bagels. All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, here's everything I made for the week. I have some sausage, grilled chicken, my bagels, look how they turned out. I have mashed cauliflower, and then I made some chicken salad and peanut butter cookies. So that is all the things for the week. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.